So now we're back with the elusive thoracic vertebrae, which I finally have procured. Um, we're going to first start with the bony landmarks of this vertebrae, and then I want to hopefully show it with a rib. It'll be kind of hard to do that because it's by itself, but we'll show it in a different video later on as well to hopefully make it more clear because it's a little bit tricky. So first going down our list, I want to start with the body, which just like the other vertebrae is this larger weight bearing portion of the bone. The pedicle is still a connection between these sets and the body, so it's this section here. The superior vertebral notch, inferior vertebral notch, the lamina in the back connecting the dorsal spinous process and the transverse process. Okay. Notably, on the transverse process, we have this huge divot here, and this is the costal facet. So this is what articulates. And I'm going to say this slowly, so make sure I write this down, please. This will articulate with the tubercle of the same numbered rib. So hypothetically, if this was my T4 vertebrae, this would be the tubercle of rib 4. Okay. And now you might also notice... Hopefully, you can focus it here. There are demi facets on the body of this vertebrae, and they're demi. I like to think of demi as half, and so they're like two half of a facet. Which, if you can imagine another thoracic vertebrae above it, which would be T3, if this is T4, it's the T3 inferior demi facet will be somewhere here with the superior demi facet of T4 to make one full facet. And that's where that rib of this number will come. And if that made zero sense to you, don't worry. I'll explain it later as well. But if you can imagine, and actually you don't have to, I'll grab this oversized rib and hopefully it'll make more sense. Um, but I have to use it here. So this is the tubercle of the rib and this is the head. So the tubercle is going to fit nicely into that transverse process. And you'll notice how the head of the rib kind of comes to that superior portion of the vertebrae. So the rib, if this is T4, this is rib 4, and rib 4 will then articulate with T4 and T3. But if you want to be specific, the rib will have three articulations, or the head of the rib and tubercle will have three articulations, one being with this transverse process, one being with the superior demi facet of the same number, and the third being the inferior demi facet of the rib, or sorry, vertebrae above it. Okay? And that's it. 